Just making a morning coffee. Slept a bit late. Uh, it's so quiet here in the evenings. And it was a really nice bed to sleep in. So I slept really deeply at the school. And uh, Gabriel already planned something for this morning. I'm going to go to the gallery. And the owners are there. They're just opening up for me. It's the only gallery in town of the art. The artwork. And I show the artwork. And I'm going to do a little interview of the gallery owners. Someone is bringing a cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's Good Okay, we're approaching the gallery. It's next to the liquor store. Let's see. What a uh, we're gonna do the vlog in English. English. I'm Afrikaans. Uh, uh, state your name for a camera, please. Sherry. And this is your gallery. Brickwall Gallery. This is mine, my husband, Bert oh, yeah, yeah. Gallery. Well, that, I'm gonna shake your hands now. I'm just putting everything on camera. <laughs> nice Bye. to meet you. To meet nice you. to meet you. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so we're gonna do a little interview of these guys and we're gonna put that on as part of the vlog and separately on the YouTube channel. Okay. And then we'll show you guys the we're gonna show you guys the art now. Hi, I'm Sherilyn Buta Lowe, um, co-owner of Brickwall Gallery. Living in Hopefield, very happy here. And I've been a professional artist for 16 years. Uh, my name is Buta Lowe, I'm also an artist. I've uh, been painting my whole life. Uh, me and my brother as little kids, you know, been in the art thing and the drawing and so on. And uh, me and my wife, we, we've been living in Hopeville for uh, about four years now. And uh, we've been, we opened this gallery, but that's her. She'll tell you all about it. <laughs> and uh, yeah. You have to get to know the people. You have to log in with the community. That's important. Uh, we do community trading once a month. We, we take the gallery stuff there and actually sit there and get the people to come visit us. Um, you just have to love this place. It is a place of extremes weather-wise. It gets extremely cold in the, win uh, in the winter and extremely hot in summer. But uh, we love the people here. Once you get to know the people, they really, they're lovely. We have a lot of people from overseas. Strangely enough, and a lot of people from Cape Town, which we really appreciate. Mm -hmm. So people, basically the people that come here are the ones that really want to explore the, mm. the, yes. the uh, little towns, let's say. They're not the, the normal place that you go to. Um, I think we need more of that to actually to, to branch out from, the, from your main cities and actually get to the Platteland. So you can actually see what's happening there. Oh, there's all these little gems along the road. We've got Miniland. Maggie with Miniland, she does all your miniature stuff and she's got a vast supply of wool. So if you need to knit or crochet, go to Maggie. And we've got about 16 artists that exhibits here, that's local. If I say local, it's uh, West Coast, West... Yes. Yeah, Lammerbahn, Vredenburg, Veldruf. Veldruf, mm. Azerfontein, yes. Mm -hmm. I do pouring, acrylic pouring. He does oils. Uh, then we have scrap metal artists. We've got um, sorry, I'm pewter. Gonna, we've got pewter. Cyan yes, we've got cyanotype. pewter. Cyanotype. That is a local know, artist yeah. here that does cyanotype. I specialize in oil painting. Yeah. I give uh, drawing classes as well. Acrylic, of course. Um, charcoal. Uh, charcoal. I basically start the people out with acrylic and then take them to oils and so on if they want to. If they want to go to the oils. Um, that's well smart thing, you know. I've been doing it many, many years. <laughs> Why should people come drive here? 
to, to this town? Uh, they should come to Hopefield because it's interesting. Um, there's some beautiful people living here that they have to meet. We've got fantastic accommodation on this end. Mm. And the, mm. the silence, just get away from the rush. And yeah, you can actually breathe and just be yourself and maybe find yourself again. So we're we walking to where? Where are we going? What are we doing? We, we're going to Passion for Wood, which is on your left across from the church, our uh, Inkikar, beautiful Inkikar here on the right hand side. But what are we doing with uh, the Turkish place? Well, this is Billy, who was an ex. Billy. Billy, yes. Billy, who was an ex um, teacher, and he does the most divine wooden products. Okay, my name is Billy Griffith. Um, I'm a retired woodwork teacher. And after retirement, I decided to, uh, to do some woodwork as a hobby. And uh, yes, this is what I do. Nothing big, only small items. Uh, the time that I did big items is over. So I only enjoy myself now. Doing the woodwork and then and, uh, we opened the, the shop only on Saturdays. We only on, uh, we uh, started when I was, uh, when I retired. And it's going now for, what, seven years? I'm walking down the main road now. It's very quiet because it is Easter Friday. But it's this broad, very well tarred road. But it's very small. There's not many shops, just a few shops. They're all closed now for the holidays. And uh, I'm just going to show you bits of the town, walk through it, and then we'll see what pops up later. There's this old burnt down house behind me. It must have been magnificent at one point because it's old architecture, old house. Just going to wait for this car to pass. Anyway, one of the gallery owners told me this house is burnt down in a vendetta apparently. Four years ago it was burned down and I still haven't caught the guy that did it so there's a reward of 50,000 Rand for this guy that burned down this house. That's interesting. So there are not many shops in town. There's this little street here with a few shops um, and so, so we, you're from Bangladesh, right? Pakistan. Pakistan. How long have you been in town? Three or four um, years. A year? Okay, cool. I'm just going to look at, have a look at your shop. Okay. Yeah, this is typical of small towns in South Africa, probably Africa. Um, a lot of people from all kinds of places in the world opening shops, especially from places like India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, China. Yeah, that's quite normal. Have all this type of goods in, in them.
<laughs> this is my brother. Uh, we haven't seen each other for many years now. I'm joking. I just met these people. That's Fabian. He's my fixer. Can you see he's Fabian? Um, he's going to show me the, the place around. We're gonna, I'm going to go on an adventure of Fabian. And that is, this is, I've already forgotten, Anthony. Yeah? Mm. And that is Anthea. Yeah. Mm. And they are from far away. Far from me. We arrived, I'm not sure where, but Fabian will tell us everything about himself and where we are now. Now, the next little interview. Also, guys, I'm videoing everybody. Chris, Chris. and I'm going to speak English for the camera. I don't mind. Chris, nice to, nice to meet you guys. Chris, True, Chris, pleased to meet you. Hi, pleased to meet you. How are you? So, I don't know these people, but we're going to find out now who everybody is. So, Fabian, tell me first, who are you? What do you do and where are we? We you are in Oakfield, I'm Fabian, I, you are in Oakfield. I'm a teacher are? here in Oakfield. You are now in Opland. Okay. In explain, the White City. Explain Opland. Uh, it's the RDP houses. Okay. I th I've been saying earlier in my vlogs that Africa is still like that. There is segregation. We've got the, usually the colored areas in the more mainstream and more of the white stay. It's just That's just how it is. And uh, so we are more like, this is more traditionally the colored areas. Yes, yes sir. Are you like uh, are you like the, just a teacher or are you like uh, just a teacher? And what do you give? Mathematics, grade nine, eight and nine. So Fabian is just going to show me the area here and he's going to introduce me to a few people and uh, go on this little adventure of us. I was uh, offered a beer now. We can have a little beer here and uh, then we'll see what happens. This man is giving me a beer. Number 32. What kind of video? Number 32. Guys. Number 32. Number 32. Ah. That's a great one. You're going to get a glass of water. Cool. Shot. Okay. Okay. We're having a beer. Always a good start. There's a random car without a driver, without a driver and with a dog in and the music is pumping here, man. Oi! It's a party. Part is growing, there's some more people here now, so we're just chilling and having a beer, having a good time. You know? That's what this is the Sishinyama. Uh, Chris, this is the Sishinyama, this is the Weimakar complex. Weimakar complex, just, say, weekend, just we, say that word again. This is Sishinyama, we uh, care every weekend, we care here. Is that the meaning of Sishinyama? No, Sishinyama yeah. means uh, a bright black. Bright black. This is ons Weimakar complex. Yeah. Ons care here at So. So this is how we hang out here. We just sit here and drink a beer and have a conversation. Yes. yes. So that's important. Community. Yes, sir. Okay, we're going somewhere. I'm here with, what's your name again? I forgot. Niti. Niti. Yeah. Okay, let's walk. We're going to the, to the chickens. And uh, what do you call it? The, the geese. The geese. So yeah, we're going here. So are you guys farming with it or is it breeding? No, it's just breeding. Breeding? Yes. No, it's not farming, it's just chicken and geese and you're going to yeah, check it out. It's in, the, it's in the yard. In the yard. We love it. Farm, we are children. That's why. Do you eat the chickens? We, yeah, we do eat it. And the geese? No. Yeah, yeah we do eat it also. Okay. Go. We slaughter it and then we eat it. Right. When they get hot, we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ik weet hoe het hier. Wat een woed zijn in de jaar. Dat is uh, wat ik hoorde, patat. Ja, dat is een gras in de garden. In de, ja, in de, ja, in de garden zeg. Dat is een Oké, dat is een van kok. Dat is een beetje poon. Alright, so yeah, we got the chickens and the geese. Happy chickens and where's the geese? Where's the geese now? How are they with the chickens, the geese? They stay together. Oh, there they are. Oh, there they are. There's the geese. So apparently the farming there has a lot to do with the patat, what you call in Afrikaans, uh, sweet potato. Sweet potato, yeah, that's, a, that's a right, uh, yeah. So that's a, so the, the farm of sweet potato here. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. You see there's a gathering growing here next to the shop. The all the naughty boys are standing here. Yeah. Yeah. All the naughty boys are standing here. This is my... Apparently that's all the naughty people standing there. Okay, so the story here is these communities they know each other for a long time and they, you've been sitting here for 30 years and you know each other and this is your community. You sit here and you, you, over weekends you have a beer and you talk. So it's very strong community base. Yeah, I'm 51 years old now in the moment and all of these guys I know for 30 years plus. So yeah, we come a long way with each other. And we have an understanding with each other, and that's what it is. See, that's a different kind of wealth with the rich people in the city set in their homes, separate from each other. Yet the wealth is community. People knowing each other for a long time, there's really serious bonds here, and they have each other's back. And that's what you get in, in communities all over Africa. And that's what I love about Africa. <laughs> Can I take video him? Can you also take video him? But guys, are you Rastafarians? Is that like your thing? Cool man, what's your name? Leon. Leon and... So buddy, nice to, nice to meet you. Cool guys, have a nice day. That's the interesting thing about South Africa and Africa, the... Now! Picture now! Yeah, I have, I have. So, um, which is... It's amazing, the, the reggae culture and the legacy Bob Marley left, especially in Africa. You just get the Rastafarian culture everywhere. And now it's Rastas. I mean, it's so deeply rooted in African society, in South Africa and all the communities. Any town you go to, any community, you will get Rastafarians doing their thing and walking around. And they, in, in general, they like cool people to hang out with. Oh, wait, wait. I'm a Okay, I'm just gonna walk through the community and see what I see. And then we saw this part of town as well. But I love this, uh, in general, the poorer communities of the world in general have a vibe. Uh, rich people have big houses, they sit behind the fiber grid walls and they drink their fancy drinks and they meet the people once or twice a month for a social or a week. Yeah, there's a constant vibe. Uh, there's always communities getting together, talking, having a good time, having a beer. And uh, you know, that's what I love about Africa. That's what the first world lacks. I can't over romanticize it. Obviously everything has its bad sides and its good sides. But as a person, I prefer this because I feel bonded. I feel, uh, uh, I can feel the warmth in the community. And it's just for me, it's something money can never, never buy. What's the game for you?
Tá, deixa eu ver aquele gay, eu tô sentindo ele gay, deixa eu ver aquele gay. Deixa eu ver aquele gay. I'm walking around with the cameras around me like a tourist so I stand out like a sore thumb but uh, I mean this is what I do this is kind of telling people stories in communities so I like it when I can kind of just be, become part of a community but I don't have time for that I'm here for two three days and then I have to move on so I just want to show as much as I can and just try and be friendly with the people as much as possible and cheer it. Huh? So the difference is here, yeah, there is life in the street. Children are playing in the street. Um, you walk past the house and there's music playing, people are talking. It's vibey. I mean, it's great. So why not come and hang out and just catch the vibe of just people being people? I mean, that's for me, it's like I don't understand why people I have this boundary between them and other people. I just don't get it. Maybe I'm just stupid. I don't know. But a big part of my vlogging is just to tell people drop the boundary. I don't want to. I don't want to be preachy, but uh, I'm just sharing my point of view about life. And I just find so much pleasure in just hanging with all sorts of people. It's just so cool, man. It's so enriching, you know. So yeah, I want to encourage other people to do the same. Hang out with people. <laughs> Catch a vibe, I say. Okay, who are you guys? From Hopefield. <laughs> but who are you? What's your names? <laughs> and how is it to stay in Hopefield? Is it's it cool? very nice, but this place is very warm. Okay, there's a guy that just said hello in the street and uh, hello and wait everybody wait. subscribe for that guy. Go again. What's your name? My name is Ali. I'm from Pakistan. And why are you here in this town? Because I working this my shop the grocery. I'm working there. And how's this town going? Is it okay? This is okay. Offield is nice town. It's quiet. No disturbing day. No criminal. Already for office. What's your name? Bonita. Bonita, and what are you going to do today? I sell some samosas, the best samosas, and a biltong and cheese spring roll to die for. I heard about the samosas when I arrived at the hotel. Yeah. The famous samosas. Did you? Yes. How's it, guys? Please hey, hey, how's it? Please introduce yourselves. Hello. Um, my name is Conrad. My name is Charlie. And what are you going to do today here? Yeah? We are making roaster bread, pancakes, coffee, iced coffee is the works. <laughs> Everything that's not covered by the other ones. You're right. <laughs> we have a little fire set up here. Roaster cook. And what, what is your name? Mali. And what are you going to do today? Are you going to man the station here? Yeah. I'm going to man this station. The station. Yes. So that's the vibe I'm sitting up on this side. I'm going to put my display here, my art on this side. So I'm sitting up on this side on the, on the end here. Playing just acoustically unplugged and my art comes on this table here. And then... There's Bonnie. And here we have a lemon meringue. This is made by our tarts. We've got two tarts. Make a lemon meringue and an orange cake. Sometimes it's a cheesecake and sometimes it's orange, but always a lemon meringue. And the tarts this weekend have gone on an Easter holiday, so I'm managing their store. And then we've also got a delicious 
Um, Gluten-free breakfast with sweet potato rolls and brinjal and tomato and ava. And then here's Buddy in her space, ready to rock and roll. Okay, samosas. Yes. Right. We're ready for you. I'm just going to show you my little setup. That's my stage area. I've got some of my art there. And here's my little stall. My sauce, my products, my jewelry, John Bauer jewelry, and a lip balm. And now everybody's ready so the day can kick off. Here's some more art, art gallery to come and do their display. Let's hope for the best. Setting up the art as well next to me. That's the real art. No way. So this is, can start now. Yeah, but this is like, I mean, I'm just thinking stuff is so amazing. This is my child art. But uh, it's mine. <laughs> so we all want a happy stoop here. I have my unmade bed here. And that's becoming the public toilet. So <laughs> before people arrive. I have to make my room look nice and hide everything and if I walk the through here this is the stage area so I have my own little my, uh, my door to my stage so we just want to invite you to please come to Opie Stup today okay and come and see the beautiful record gallery paintings as well as Chris's merchandise please come some advertising social media advertising going down this is the modern world. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Cool. Absolutely lovely. It's stunning. We love it. We absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. The world famous free wild world caramba hot sauce fermented for 21 days. Taking a walk to town just to get one or two beers because just a little bit of that courage not too much it helps of keeping the music flowing and the vocals eased up and to join with the music spirit in the sky and play better <laughs> Just buying some pluckies. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bossy. Cheers, see you later. Bye. Got the beer now. I'm gonna start slowly warming up on the guitar and start strumming.
a nice vibe here. People come in and go, and they're looking at me talking to myself in the camera, yeah. thinking I'm crazy. <laughs> Very, very pleasant morning and I'm doing a lunch break and speaking to myself again on the camera in front of other people like a madman. <laughs> Look at this freshly baked. What is the fake? Rooster, rooster, rooster cook. cook. What is a rooster cook in English? I don't know. It's down on the fire. Of like bacon, tomato, tom uh, and uh, cheese. Lunch. Hi. <laughs> That concludes the morning. It was a couple of hours of playing music and it was a good day. Everybody had a good day and we had lots of people. Let's just ask Gabriel what she thinks about the day. Gabriel, how was the day? It was a very good day. Solidly busy from about 10 till now. The last customer still here. We're very pleased. Hey, Bart, are we pleased it was a fabulous, fantastic, you, you a pro productive. Yeah. I think we all brought yeah. the luck together. Yeah. The vibe was just yeah. something yeah. else. It was good. Great. Everybody said they enjoyed it. Until next time, I hope I'm invited back. Look at the Oh, it's just my trainkey, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing yeah. A, a, a John Bauer trade here yeah? on the stoop. <laughs> and how feel so? What do you think about the beach? How do you feel oh, about I'd it? Oh, I love the beach. It's like my soul is lying in front of me right now. I love it. I love the colors. I love the shapes. Everyone's got its own unique beauty about it. And it's difficult to decide, but I would like to put something together for myself yeah. that I can wear. Yeah. And... Uh, I love the feel of it, the coldness against my skin. I'm a very earthy person, so I love earth. It's beautiful. And it's going to last thank forever. For I'll thank you. I love the privilege of being able to do this. Chris, thanks. Cool. Late Saturday afternoon in town. I'm going to go for one quick beer at the bar. And then take an early night again, I think. What happens next? I don't, I'm not sure. I'm obviously open to do more of this. Like a... African taxi to any town and come and play on your stoop, in your house, in your cafe, wherever. I'm ready. I'll come and play unplugged like today and spam my art and sell my, my merch. Uh, so we make a living, this type of living. But let's do the bar. There's a few people. There's, there's a no one. There's a few people. Hey, that's a few. Uh, Chris. Hello, Chris. I can see you in the sandals. Stevie Wonder. Oh, hello, Guinness. I walked up to the other bar in town. It's not too far, about a kilometer away. and. Apparently there's a DJ coming into town tomorrow, one of the best DJs in the West Coast and he's going to play it tomorrow night, so maybe we'll come and check it out. I'm going to get some tips and see what you have to play on the West Coast to be a popular DJ. It's a bit dark here now, but uh, check it out.